first read about Van Eck freaking in a science fiction novel, actually it was Neil Stevenson's Cryptonomicon, and it was, the idea was that every CRT monitor puts out electromagnetic radiation, which in theory, if you intercepted and interpreted, you could see what was displayed on that monitor. Van Eck Freaking, there must have been a guy named Van Eck who figured this out. Yeah, there must have been. I, I don't know exactly where it originated from. But, but I uh, thought it was sci-fi. So did I. So did I until I came across this program. But let's show everybody at home exactly what we're talking about. We've okay. got a nice little animation. This uh, is check this out. A demo here. This is a demo. Let's say you're sitting at home. Okay. You know, you're doing a little web browsing, surfing around on you're Amazon. You're broadcasting. You're broadcasting. Those frequencies are going outside of your monitor. Someone could potentially sit there and then pick up a mirror image of exactly what you're doing just by picking up those frequencies and then reinterpreting them with a special proprietary software. You would be surprised if information stored on computers was tampered with and stolen by hackers who did not leave, a, leave any traces of their activities. But this is already a reality. These hackers are believed to be secretly tapping computerized information using electromagnetic waves. In Japan earlier this year, many central government offices found the content of their home pages had been altered without their knowledge. Hackers normally break into computer networks to alter or steal information. But our report looks at a different type of hacker. These hackers use electromagnetic waves to steal information. They do not need to break into computer networks. These hackers do not leave any traces of their activities. This makes it extremely difficult for such crimes to be brought to light. A number of suspected cases using this new technique have come to the attention of law enforcement authorities in other countries. The technology for stealing data out of a computer from a distance is known as Tempest in the United States. The U.S. National Security Council and other official bodies see it as the ultimate espionage technology. This is how Tempest works. This is an experiment carried out by a commercial bank in Tokyo. A researcher inputs a word on a regular personal computer as sold in ordinary shops. An antenna set up about 30 meters from the computer is connected to special equipment and a monitor which registers the data. The equipment can be handled in such a way that whatever is shown on the first computer monitor is exactly copied on the monitor connected to the spying equipment. The secret factor in this technology is the cable which links computers and their monitors or displays. When you use a computer, the data is converted into electronic signals which are transmitted through a cable to the display. A weak electromagnetic wave is emitted from the surface of the cable. The antenna picks up that electromagnetic wave and the spying equipment analyzes. By picking up the data of the images on the first computer screen, the exact same data can be re reproduced. Using this technology, information about new products or personal information about customers can be stolen from companies by spies operating from outside the building. The data can be stolen whether or not it is displayed. The example passwords, for example, passwords can be picked up from a distance even though they are never displayed on the screen. Let's feed in a four-digit password. Electromagnetic waves, including data on the password, are emitted from the cable that runs from the keyboard. The antenna picks up the electromagnetic waves. The peaks on the graph show the electromagnetic waves which were emitted as the password was entered. If those changes on the graph are analyzed, it can be established with a probability of more than 90.4% that the first keystroke that was input was a T, the second keystroke was an E, the third was an S, and the last letter was another T. Now we've established that the password was the word test. An engineer at a telecom company says that hacking via the Internet or using telephone lines cannot be done without leaving some traces. However, this new form of wiretapping never leaves any traces. He says this is a new type of threat to society.